Bishop, I understand that you have some exciting news to share with us today. Yes, Monsignor Vlohan, I'm happy to announce Dr. Patrick M. O'Shaughnessy has been selected as the new president and chief executive officer of Catholic Health. Dr. O'Shaughnessy has served more than seven years as Catholic Health's executive vice president and chief medical officer, and then four years as executive vice president and chief clinical officer. He will replace Dr. Alan Gersey, who is retiring. We are grateful for the leadership and commitment of Dr. Gersey during his tenure, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. O'Shaughnessy is an accomplished physician who brings years of experience, knowledge, and dedication to Catholic Health. Founded in faith in 1997, Catholic Health is committed to the moral teachings and mission of the Church to bring Christ's healing mission and the mission of mercy of the Catholic Church expressed in Catholic health care to our communities. Dr. O'Shaughnessy is a great example of a Catholic witness in modern health care and will be a prominent figure and prime motivator in the growth of the Catholic Health Organization and our mission. The Diocese of Rockville Center is excited for the future of Catholic Health under the gifted leadership of Dr. Patrick O'Shaughnessy. Now, Dr. O, as we know him, is well known and well respected in our community here at Catholic Faith Network. His generosity extends outside of the hospital and even right here at our studios where he has become our resident medical expert. He's a devoted husband and father and we're blessed to have him as the new leader of Catholic Health. Dr. O'Shaughnessy, today is a joyful day. We rejoice that a man of deep faith and intellect is taking on this important role in our Catholic Church and in our health system. Wondering if you'd like to share some thoughts on this great appointment. Wow, well, I, I feel uh, the one, I'm the one who is truly blessed. Uh, so Bishop, thank you for this incredible opportunity. Uh, thank you for those kind words and generous thoughts. It's truly, an honor and a privilege to lead Catholic Health into the future. Thank you. I also like to take a moment to thank our board chairman, Sal Sedano, our search committee, all of our board of directors uh, for this incredible opportunity and for their faith in me as well. It's an exciting time for Catholic Health. And to the 18,000 people and 5,000 medical staff members who are the life force of Catholic Health, I want to thank you for the incredible work that you do. And it is an honor and a privilege uh, to go forward as your next president and CEO. You know, we are special, we are different, we are faith-based. We are the highest quality health system in our region. So it's a very exciting opportunity for us. It's a wonderful moment for our church and for this health system we all love so much. Bishop, do you have some final thoughts today? Thank you, Monsignor. On June 22nd, 2019, Pope Francis spoke to a gathering of physicians and healthcare professionals and said, Catholic medical professionals are called to provide care with sensitivity and re with respect for the dignity and for the physical and psychological integrity of each person. Make your caregiving more humane by listening attentively, offering encouragement and comfort, and giving hope. Read the Bible and receive the sacraments frequently. Dr. O'Shaughnessy, we are excited about your leadership and the future of Catholic Health. Be assured of our support and our prayers for you and for the great and holy people of Catholic Health that serve all of Long Island. God bless you.